Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to take a look at the new update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 2.0.5. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. This week, there's another update for Topaz Photo AI. This is version 2.0.5. Let's get a look and see what's new here. On the screen right now, you can see the additions and the fixes since the last update, version 2.0.4. You might want to pause the video and get a look at this. I'm going to go over a couple of the things that, that I feel are important that I wanted to highlight in this video. So that's coming up next. The first thing I want to show you deals with preferences. So if we come up here and click on Topaz Photo AI in the menu and click on Preferences, You'll notice now, like right now I'm on brush, you see how bold this is. It really stands out so you can really tell what you've selected. Or if I go down here to say sharpen, you can see that that's what I've selected. And so that's, that's a nice improvement because before it was kind of like dull and it was like, what am I actually looking at here? And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. This is the preference panel in version 2.0.4 and you'll notice I am on brush. But you can see it's really hard to tell. Am I really selecting brush or not? It's kind of like iffy. Now let me show you version 2.0.5, the preference panel. Now I'm still on brush in the general category. And you can see brush is nice and bold and it stands out. So I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that I am on the brush. It's a little minor detail, but I think it is really helpful. This preference panel is so key to setting photo AI up for your particular workflow. And now we can clearly see whatever we select here, like subject detection. And then you may want to come up and set this up for none, default, portrait, landscape, however you want it to be. But now you can clearly see that I'm on subject detection or I'm on face detection or I want to set up my remove noise for raw. You can see I'm there. So this is helpful and it, it takes the frustration out of it. It's a small improvement, but I think it's a much needed improvement. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Is this helpful? The next improvement I want to show you deals with exporting your images. Now I have these images that I brought into Photo AI. These are images created by using the new Firefly 2 beta, which is really cool and I'm really enjoying how that works. I think I'll be doing a video on this in the upcoming future showing you how this uh, new Firefly 2 works. It's really cool. If you're interested in me doing a video about Firefly 2, let me know in the comments section below. Now, if I go to save eight images, click on here, you can see that I'm saving them to this location, but we can't actually tell the exact location because we don't see the entire path. And so if I want to be clear where these are going, if I hover over this location, now you can see there is the actual path all typed out for you. I think this is a really nice improvement. Again, it's a small change, but a very welcome change. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. I think this is going to be helpful. So again, all you need to do, if you can't really tell where that path is, just hover over the location name and you can see exactly where it's going. Now, I want to show you another new feature. Now, let's say that you have Photo AI set up for you to always save your images to a certain location. And in my case, usually what I do is I go to the original folder. So I'll click on original folder. So I always like them to go back to the original folder and I always like to preserve the input format. Now you could click this drop down and change it to whatever you want. And I always put a prefix on here of photo AI. Now let's say I always use this export setting all the time. So this is dealing with that. Let me go ahead and click cancel and I'll show you what I mean. If you'll look down here on the lower right hand side, you see right here as I hover over, it says quick save. This is new. If I click this right now, it'll go ahead and save all of these Firefly images back to their original folder. Because if you'll recall, when I was over here, I have that set up for the original folder. I'll just click cancel. Now, these are all small files. And right now, they're getting auto enhanced. You can see this is upscaling 1.7 times. And the reason being is if I come up here and click on Topaz Photo AI and go to preferences, and then if I go to upscale and resize, you can see I have this set to enhance small images. So Photo AI automatically will upscale these 
1.5 to 4 times whatever it chooses. Or I could click on the drop down and let's say I wanted to set the output size. So I can come here and click set output size. Let's change this to times. Let me go ahead and say times 4 and click save. Okay, and now it's upscaled four times. Let me go ahead and fit this to screen by clicking fit right here. Okay, so now it's upsized four times and every one of these images will get upsized four times. Now you'll notice if I hover over this image, see this one says four times. If I hover over this one, it says 1.7 because remember I was initially at, you know, enhanced small images and it chose to upsize them to 1.7x. But then I changed it to four times and I was on this image. So none of these other images changed. And you'll notice this one says 1.7 because I clicked on it before. Now, if I hover over this image, it just says autopilot as well as these other images. They all just say autopilot. But as soon as I click on this quick save, they're all going to get upsized and autopilot will run on them and they'll all be upsized four times. Well then, let's check it out and see. So right now, I'm gonna click on quick save and you'll notice they'll all start the process here. We could cancel the process at any time, but they're going to the original folder. They're going to preserve the input format. And as you can see, the first image was processed and it's 9216 by 7168, which is four times larger than 2304 by 1792. And you'll notice these are all, because these images were all at the same aspect ratio. So they're all going in the same size. So they'll all be upsized to a 9216 by 7168. And as you can see, as you go down the list here, they are all changing. I'll let this finish out and then we'll get a look at the images. My images have all been saved, enhanced, and upsized four times. And remember, they started out all as the same size. And here's my first image, and you can see all my thumbnails on the left-hand side. We'll get a look at all these images, but I want to pull up the inspector. I'm just going to use my shortcut command I to see the inspector. Here's the first image. As you can see, it's 9216 by 7168. Let's just pick another one here down the line. I'll click on this one. And you can see this one as well is 9216 by 7168. So I can assure you, every one of these images got upsized to the same size and they were enhanced. So here is my first image. Let's just get a look at them. Really nice. Here's my second image. And Photo AI does such a nice job with these Firefly images. I really love it. Here's the third image. So you could print these out. This is a beautiful watercolor type image. Here's another image here with a nice rainbow. Kind of a watercolory look. Here's another one. A little bit moody with a cactus with a cactus flower pretty cool here's another version i like this one too more painterly and here's like a pencil sketch it does a really beautiful job firefly 2 so like i said if you want to see a tutorial on that new firefly 2 beta let me know in the comment section below and here's the last one i really enjoy this one too it's kind of like a watercolor as well so pretty cool stuff by the way, here's my file folder. As you can see, the original images were 2304 by 1792. There was eight of them, followed by eight Photo AI upsized images that were upsized four times and enhanced. They're now 9216 by 7168. Well, there it is, everyone. The latest update for Topaz Photo AI version 2.0.5. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification and also click all so you receive all notifications so you don't miss a video. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.